Hello friends, welcome to SQL practical question series. Here is another interesting question that I have received from one of the subscriber. First let me explain what is the question is about. Then we will see how to resolve this problem statement using SQL. So we are provided with an input value and the expectation is we need to write a query to print all the possible combination of numbers less than or equal to that particular number but there is a small rule applicable. So whenever we are preparing the set both the numbers in the set should not be the same. For example, if our input is 2, then the possible combinations are like 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1 and 2, 2. But we should not print if both the numbers are same. For example, 1, 1 and 2, 2 we should not print. And the second rule is the second number should be greater than first number. Like 1, 2 and 2, 1. In this case, we should print only 1, 2 because in case of 2, 1, the first number is greater. So we should print only if the second number is greater. Suppose if our input is 2, then our output will look like this. So in this case like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 are not expected in the output. Similarly, we should just filter out uh, wherever the uh, first value is greater. We should print only if the second value is greater than the first one. So if our input is 4, this is our expected output. And if our input is 5, then this is our expected output. Now let me show you the logic what I'm going to follow so that it is very easy for you to follow while writing the SQL. Suppose if it, the input is 4, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to print a sequence of number first and then I'm going to do a Cartesian join with the same data. So when we do a Cartesian join of this data with the same data, we'll end up with a 16 rows, something like this. So in this 16 rows, we just need to apply our rules. For example, if both the numbers are the same, then we should not print like 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 and 4, 4. This should not be there in our output. And uh, the second number should be greater than the first. So this is right. So the 1, 3 is correct. 1, 4 is right. But this is not expected because 1 is less than 2. And again like 1, 2 and 2, 1. Instead of 1, 2 and 2, 1, we should print only the 1, 2. Okay, right. Next. 2, 3 is a right combination, 2, 4 because 4 is greater than 2 but 3, 1 is not a correct because we have already covered 1, 3 here and 3, 2 is also not expected because the second value should be greater than the first one and again this is also not expected in our output, 3, 4 is right, the rest of the things are not expected in our output. Okay. Now here is where we will apply the logic, once we are done we will get the filter data and the final step is to convert this filtered data into a comma separated string using the list aggregation function. Now let us see how to implement this logic using SQL. Now let's see how to write this equal. Let me take the input as select for from dual. Let me give alias as n. Let us just make this as a with class query. Let's say with data set 1 as select star from data set 1 yes 4 is getting printed now let us do let us print the sequence of numbers from 1 to 4 select star from dual connect by level less than or equal to let me select the value from the data set 1 Right, four rows are getting printed instead of star let me uh, put row name pseudo column or we can use the level pseudo column let me give alias as r right now let me make this as the another with class query let me say data set query 2 as now let's select the information from our data set 2 right now we got the uh, sequence of number from 1 to 4 now let us do the cross join with the same data. So let me give alias as T1. Let's say cross join data set to T2. Right? We got 16 rows as output now. Now let me just select T1 dot R and T2 dot R. Right? Now we just need to filter out the record whatever we don't want. So let me just put like where T2 dot are greater than t1 dot r right this this condition will automatically take care of the uh, values which are same in both the columns right now let us use our list aggregation to concatenate and to represent as our expected output 
further first let me concatenate these two values as a comma separated value right now then we will just put a square bracket in both the side so let me just put square bracket in the closing side also right we got the data now let us use the list aggregation list aggregation separated by comma and within group we just want to order by order by t1.r comma t2.r yes we got the expected output like 1 2 1 3 1 4 and 2 3 2 4 and 3 4 now let us check for the all the other input numbers let me make this as 2 so we just got only 1 2 because 1 1 and 2 2 are not valid combination and in 1 2 1 2 1 we just need to print only 1 2 let's change the value to 3 so here is the output for 3 and here is the output for 4 and here is the output for 5 so here is the query for your reference if you have learned something new please like this video if you want any questions to be answered please post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id but before that you can check whether a similar question has already been posted as part of interview question series or as part of subscriber question series if you are not able to find your question here please drop to me i'll be happy to record and post as a new video if you have learned something new please like this video subscribe and stay tuned for new feature video interview question sql practical question and concept videos and thanks a lot for watching this video